Welcome to Euactiv's EU Tweets of the Week. Europe wants to see UK tourists less. Black Lives Matter widespread protests stress. And MEP joins committee in state of undress. This episode is supported by the European Snacks Association. More about them later on. As Europe gradually opens up its borders following the COVID-19 pandemic, one couldn't help but notice that a certain country was not on a lot of guest lists. Spoof account Martini Seltzmeyer summed up the protocol. Number 36, rest of the world. Number 37, extraterrestrials who say they come in peace. Number 100, the UK. Sharon O'D reported that the Netherlands will welcome back tourists soon, but we do not want British people or Swedes here at the moment, according to Prime Minister Mark Rutte. Greece has also sidelined the UK, and that means it also refuses Irish because of the border. Meanwhile, British PM Boris Johnson wants European workers who left the UK as lockdown began to come back. I say come back. Speaking of coming back, this is the maximum distance I've ever kept physically from Jean-Claude Juncker, tweeted Commissioner Margarita Schinas. But we remain just as close at heart. All together now. Aww. This episode is sponsored by the European Snacks Association. Check out their channel to find out what is Europe's favourite snack flavour and suggest your own using the hashtag What's Your Flavour? Truffle anyone? This week saw Black Lives Matter trending again after horrific scenes of violence in the United States. Martina Steves said that with every US backslide, the burden on Europe to uphold values once taken for granted grows heavier. But, added Elizabeth Collett, racism is everywhere. No one in Europe watching the news unfold across the Atlantic should be feeling superior right now. Gary Lineker was amongst those who tweeted pictures of mostly peaceful protests throughout Europe, including in Hyde Park. But Mark Pushell reckons that when a riot happens anywhere, France be like, hold my beer. In Belgium, graffiti art on the side of a train reads, I can't breathe, in memory of George Floyd. And in Ghent, the bust of King Leopold II of Belgium, who orchestrated the genocide of 10 million Congolese, was defaced by protesters. Finally this week, there's no covering up some MEPs, as Luke Ming Flanagan joined the European Parliament's Agri Committee online meeting in his jocks, presumably thinking the camera cut him off at the waist. Just look at Norbert Lin's face, urged Michal Oskanol. And while Joseph Sexton is right, we really all could do with some levity in these trying times, there's just no unseeing that. At least Ming himself has a sense of humour. Hope you like my legs, he tweeted. Um. Maybe taking part in a parliamentary debate in underwear is the power flex to end all power flexes, suggested MEP assistant. Yeah, and maybe it's not. That's it for this week. Join me again next Friday. And if you want to sponsor an episode, please do get in touch. Music